keeper, the promise keeper, light in the darkness, every difficulty must come down. Right now I pray, let the Spirit of God touch someone. strong enough to push back the darkness. Thank you, Jesus, that you're strong enough to push back the wind, the problems, the circumstances. Thank you, Jesus, that you're strong enough to handle all the complications, oh God. Thank you that you are the way maker, that we are standing still on your rock, oh God. Come on, church, worship him. your church, oh God. Hallelujah. We praise you, oh God, because we want to be obedient to you. In the last days, I will rise up. There will be people that will rise up. Hallelujah. We'll be true worshipers in Jesus Christ. God is looking for true worshipers. Lord, we declare your goodness, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for touching us with your worship. Hallelujah. name we pray. We all shout a big Amen. 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 Give a clap offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of you believe that God was moving powerfully this Sunday morning? Say hallelujah. God is moving powerfully in our church this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Greetings to all of you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I greet all of you, even those who are watching online. We really appreciate your presence in the house of God. Last night we had a wonderful uh, youth meeting uh, coordinated by Jasmine. She's doing a wonderful job. I've seen so many young talents. Hallelujah. I want to see more of you being used by God. Would you give a, a, like an appreciation for our young people? Hallelujah. I just want to quickly say next Saturday, uh, we have a youth gathering. Uh, it's a game night with Word. Um, we're going to be gathering here at 8 o'clock. I want to invite all of you youth and young adults to join me. Uh, we're going to have a good time. Hallelujah. We're going to go into the Word of God. How many of you are ready for the Word? Amen. Say amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to go into Ephesians 2, 
verse 10 through 13. Ephesians 2, verse 10 through 13. Open your Bibles to Ephesians 2, verse 10 through 13, and Don is going to help me read that. Kevin. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. Therefore, remember that at one time, you Gentiles in the flesh called the uncircumcision, by which is called the circumcision, which is made by the flesh by hands. Remember that you were at the time separated from Christ, alienated from commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Amen. For we are God's handiwork, then verse 13 says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. I'm going to read that again. Verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've titled this message, I am God's handiwork. Say this with me. I am God's handiwork. One more time. I am God's handiwork. This is week four of our series called Family. I just want to share in the first five minutes talking about family and marriage. Anything that is of value, it's going to come at a cost. Your family and your marriage is one of the most valuable relationship that you will ever have in your life. Family and marriage requires a level of work. In order to bring anything into this world, bring life to anything, it takes work. Say this with me, it takes work. To bring a child into this world, it takes work. Getting a degree, it takes work. Getting a promotion, it takes work. People think for whatever reason that marriage relationships should not take work. Let me move forward. So in marriage, your spouse becomes a mirror. Say this with me, a mirror. They are your looking glass. They are the sole individuals that will see the deepest recess of your heart. Hallelujah. Your spouse is going to see the best in you. They, they, they're going to see the worst in you. They're going to reflect back to you the true nature. They're going to see all the ugly parts. They're going to see your attitudes and your behaviors and maybe even smelly laundries. They're going to see some things that, they, that you never thought that I would have ever experienced in, in my life. And that's why your spouse, your husband and wife, they are your mirror. They're the sole individual that God will use to reflect back to you the true nature of your heart. So God's intention for family, God's intention on marriages, God's intention on us is for us to become the best version of ourselves in Christ Jesus. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. But Oftentimes, our inadequacies, our, our uh, you know, uh, insecurities really block us from being influenced by our spouse. I'm talking to both men and women this morning. Hallelujah. And I want to just quickly go forward. Young people, I want you to know the healthiest marriage share spousal influence. Both of you have, can make an impact. Spousal influence is the uh, ability for your spouse to make an impact, to make an effect, and even sway your behaviors and emotions. Therefore, those who are married today morning and those who are yet to be married, I want you to allow your spouse to kind of push you and to nudge you and ultimately influence you toward becoming who God has created you to be. Amen. And that doesn't happen just because you're waking up with them. 
There are going to be some struggles. There are going to be some conflicts and some trials. There's going to be some issues. And, and we all have to work it out together. And may the Lord give you that confidence. God will work out all of the issues that we may be facing. You may not be telling your pastors or the church members. But let me tell you as we sang this morning. God is a way maker. God is a miracle worker. God is the one that can turn the light into dark. Hallelujah. Darkness into to light. How many of you believe that this morning that God is able to do a miracle for me? Hallelujah. Say amen. 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 I just want to tell you that when you and I recognize you and I recognize that we are built in the image of God. That those around you are also built in the image of God. Then our treatment level is going to be different. We will treat everyone with honor love respect that they deserve amen hallelujah the enemy is trying to attack the honor the love and the respect for each other this morning as we were singing hallelujah bring down every high thing every high thing must come down Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every darkness must come down. Every disunity must come down. And when we are united and when we honor each other, when we love a God, hallelujah, and we display the Christ in us, and Lord, hallelujah, Lord, my worship becomes more purer to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, let my life be a living sacrifice for you. How do I do that? Lord, hallelujah. I want to be a life that, was, that will respect God and respect others. Respect my family. Respect my wife. Respect my fair friends. Hallelujah. And when you honor, when you know that you are built in the image of God, when you have a sharper knowledge that we are built in the image of God, created in Christ Jesus to do great things that God has prepared for each one of us. Your, 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 the way you treat each other will change. Hallelujah. The way you love will change. The way you honor each other will change. The way you respect your spouse will change. Hallelujah. And you will receive, hallelujah, God's grace upon your life. How many of you want God's grace upon your family, your marriages, hallelujah, upon your children, upon their education, and when they go to school, when they come into college, when they go on, up, hallelujah, when they become young adults, Lord, Lord, let the, let the grace of God follow my, my family. Family. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is trying to share something with you this morning about family. Hallelujah. Young people, even those who are not married can learn something from this. Glory to God. Amen. So here in Ephesians 2, Paul reminds us that we are created in God's handiwork. We are God's handiwork. And I began to study. What does that mean? I began to study. What Paul is saying to us is that we are the apex of God's creation. Think about how complex a human body is. Think about how complex that we are created. No scientist can create a human body. Amen. Hallelujah. Only God can. For instance, think about a baby. The baby, of course, is a, is a physical wonder. Its mind is amazing. Its eyes transmit massive amount of information. First through the cornea. Then through the focusing lens where the image strikes the retina. And stimulates 125 million nerve endings at the same time. Hallelujah. Millions of micro switches process the data. Which is then channeled down the optic nerve. Which has one million different insulated fibers. Why? That ensuring there's no shortcuts. When that information reaches the brain. It triggers a similarly intricate process. And can you imagine all of this happens in milliseconds. Say this with me. Milliseconds. Similarly, the baby's ears are, uh, are so sensitive to the vibration around her or him. And one day that, that, that baby will make music and, and with the with voice that God has given him and, and talents that God is going to give that baby. But this is the fact. But far beyond this wonder is the fact that the baby 
is made in the image of God. No, no, no other uh, angels can revile him. Angels are not made in the image of God. But you and I and that baby is made in the image of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imagine how complex this human body is. And if there is someone that is saying there is no God. Let me tell you my friend. My God is alive. He is the one who made me. He is the one who created me. He is the one that I will worship. He is the one that I will serve all the days of my life. And I will behold the beauty of the Lord to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a joy to know. Thank you Lord Jesus that I'm even though I'm complex. That hallelujah, all the optic nerves, my brain, my, my, my spine, my lumbar, my sacrum, my cervical bones. All of these are working together in milliseconds. Hallelujah. Imagine just one second you can't breathe and something happens. You start bleeding. Hallelujah. We're so, hallelujah, something happens to our body. Lord, we thank God the way that God has protected us and kept us all together in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. And that's why Psalms wrote in Psalms 139. The psalmist wrote this. You made all the delicate, the inner parts of my body and knit me, knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is too marvelous. How well I know it. Even David knew how well that we are made complex and this morning does the body of Christ know how complex we are wonderfully made by your Savior Jesus Christ hallelujah not only you have a body let me remind you but we have an eternal soul amen amen we have an eternal soul glory to God so what am I saying this morning man is without a doubt the apex of God's creation. The apex of God's creation. No angel can revile him. No angel is made in the image of God. Yet as a wonder, you know, wondrous as man is. Is he not the masterwork spoken in Ephesians 2.10. That I am God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus. We are God's handiwork created in Jesus Christ. What Paul is trying to tell us, our existence is due to the work of Christ. Hallelujah. That our existence is due to the work of Christ that Christ done. And the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. For by him the Bible says. All things were created. Things in heaven on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers. Or rulers or authorities. He's before all things. We are before all things. Knowing that he holds all things together for us. Those who are calling according to his purpose. God reminded me. I am holding you. All together. COVID-19 hit. Fa family problems have arrived. But nevertheless, we as a church is thriving and moving forward. Glory to God. Many hindrances came trying to take away our deeper fellowship. The COVID tried to take away our deeper fellowship. God is saying in 2021, in November, I want to bring you, Lord, hallelujah. I want to bring you into a deeper fellowship with him. Whatever that came as an interference, hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus. You need to come back into a deeper fellowship in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever interferences, whatever complications, whatever disappointments that came my way, I thank you that we have the victor's crown. Hallelujah. We sang this morning that we have the victor's crown. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you made me intricately. You made me so wonderfully. I am so complex, but nevertheless, hallelujah. Throughout all the disappointments, my setbacks, my God is Yahweh. 
Hallelujah. My God is Yahweh. My God is my provider. The wake maker. The miracle worker. Light in the darkness. I have no doubt. Hallelujah. That we as human beings are the apex of God's creation. We are God's handiwork. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here we learn in the scripture. We learn that you are a masterwork. But this masterwork has undergone two creations in Christ Jesus. As I reminded you last week, a natural birth and a spiritual birth. Say this with me, spiritual birth. So Paul encouraged the Gentile converts by reminding them that they are not second class Christians. Say that I am not a second class Christian. Oh, young people, let, let me hear you. I am not a second class Christian. Paul flatly tells them, the new believers, that they were once ignorant, irreligious, humanly speaking without hope. They were separate from Christ. They were once without God. But by reminding them in spite of how far from God they were, they were now brought near by the blood of Christ. Second, second slide. No matter how, next slide. No matter how far we all have gone, Paul is reminding through the scripture, Ephesians 10, 2 verse 10 through 13. You and I are brought near through the blood of Jesus Christ. Say this with me. Nearness to God is granted through the blood of Jesus Christ. Say this with me. Nearness to God is granted through the blood of Jesus Christ. Nearness to God was intended for us to, for, for our highest good. For our highest good. Paul is reminding them, I know that you were once far over. You were Gentiles. You worshipped the pagans. Your pagan background is a plain fact not to be ignored. I began to think how many times we ignore Christ in our lives. And Paul is Encouraging the Ephesian believers. What defined you then is not what's going to define you now. What defines you is that you've been granted the nearness to God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul reminds them they've been brought near in two distinct ways. Number one, brought near to God. And number two, Brought near to one another. Hallelujah. Say this with me. Brought near to one another. Hallelujah. The devil is really trying to, 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 to disturb the young people in America. Last Friday there was a concert in Houston. Tragic concert. Rapper Travis Scott. Hosted a concert. Ages 14 to 27 were there. Can you imagine 50,000 people on an open ground? The devil is on a move trying to destroy the young people of America. What happened in that concert? Eight people died. People, these young people couldn't even breathe. They were on their tippy toes trying to get some air out. Hallelujah. The, the music felt demonic. The, the concert, all the set felt demonic. All of the things that was happening, even, the, even there was no air to breathe. People were, there was a stampede and people were, 300 people, young people got injured. We need to wake up and realize, Lord, I want to come near to you. Don't, don't disturb, hallelujah. The devil is trying to disturb our minds. And I just watched an interview of a North Indian family, uh, a, a parent that came on, uh, on the news media. And she said, my daughter wanted to go to this concert. This is the only thing she asked. And she was only 15, but she died in the concert. 
she died. This North Indian mom came on TV. I could not say no to my daughter. Young people, when your parents tell you no, you better listen. You want your life to be saved, you better get serious, hallelujah. You want your life to be saved in Christ Jesus, don't go to that concert where you're not supposed to go. Hallelujah. Don't do the thing that your parents is telling you not to do. There is a danger, there is an enemy lurking America. And we as a church, when we get, hallelujah, when we hear these news and God is trying to remind us, wake up young generation, hallelujah, come near to me. I have already paid the price for your remission. I have already paid the price for all the sins that you're going to commit. And come near to me. Nearness to God is granted to us through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The enemy is trying to lurk our young people. They're trying to destroy our generation. But I thank you that that we, you and I are going to stand and pray and plead the blood of Jesus over our families and our young people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you God that you are the way maker. That all of this hindrance that is trying to lure our young people into concerts and all these things. Lord, hallelujah. Let them get busy into the nearness of God. Hallelujah. I'm praying that our young people get busy with the Lord. Say this with me. Get busy. With the Lord. So eight people died. 300 injured. And the concert never stopped. Hallelujah. The enemy and his team know what they're doing. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this morning. God cares for every single soul. The musicians and the Malayalam worship team can come forward. Hallelujah. What God is reminding us today. That your eternal destiny. Is determined by your decision. How many of us can pray God. Lord I pray for these young people. Lord guide them oh God. In every decision that they make. Lord hallelujah be good to them. Lord let them make godly decisions in Jesus name. Lord, I pray for our youngsters, oh God. I pray for our younger generation. The Lord, hallelujah, that they will be found good in God's sight. That they will be found good in God's sight. Hallelujah. We're going to come into a time. Lord, I want to draw near to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every eye closed. Let's worship God. Open up. Open up. Open up your heart to God. Open up. Open up your heart to God. Hallelujah. Rabarati na raga jina radhi kaba. Remo seka radhi na radhi na jina rekabo. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord I want a sharper picture of God's nearness. I want a sharper picture of God's holiness. I want a sharper picture of God's glory in my life. And how many of you can pray Lord hallelujah. Send your glory upon me oh God. Send your glory upon me. I want a sharper sharper picture of God's nearness to me Lord hallelujah and whatever that is trying to interfere our minds and our hearts in from coming into the presence of God remove it in the name of Jesus hallelujah open up thank you tell them thank you Jesus say thank you Jesus The enemy tried to destroy your family. The enemy tried to destroy the church. The enemy tried to destroy the young people of America. Hallelujah. We have the victor's crown. We have the victor's crown. We have the victory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, for that we are made in God's work, hallelujah, that we belong to you, Lord, we worship you, we acknowledge you, help us to overcome, help us to overcome, help us to overcome all the difficulties, hallelujah, we take victory in the name of Jesus, come on, somebody worship him, somebody worship him in every aisle, everybody pray. 
God. Praise God. Lord, draw me near to you. Draw me near to you. Draw my children near to you. Draw my family near to you. Come on, worship him. Send your miracle. Send your word. Send a miracle. Open up, open up. The God is moving in our midst. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, I pray the Spirit of God wake you up in, in your heart. Thank you, Jesus.